the S&P 600 small cap index on the monthly chart. What's most interesting is it ended up end of month April nailing the 12 month simple moving average in solid green and then bounced up for this month and we have that inside candle developing here but we have a long way to go to the end of the month so that was an interesting development and a good show to start the month the S&P 600 monthly small cap AD line shows it bouncing right off of that red uptrend line there that first one it went under the 10 EMA for last month and then it bounced up above it pretty close to the upper leg of the descending broadening wedge which is a bullish chart pattern so let's see if it can break out to the upside there plenty of support still to the downside the S&P 600 monthly kappa curve in the main window looks somewhat lame still has an upwards trajectory but nothing like some of the other ones even this one and this one so this is a tentative upside breakout above zero for the kappa curve on this monthly chart and we'll look at all three daily high low index charts we'll start off with the nasdaq composite itself having a buy signal where the 5 ema went above the red 10 and that happened on the 2nd of may and it was pretty close negative 4.66 so my threshold is plus or minus 5 so it was within that range and that's a buy signal in the NASDAQ composite. I have the NDX, NASDAQ 100 Big Fat Cap Megatech Index in pink. And the high low line is in dotted. You can barely see it here where the pink and the dotted are right together. The pink NDX is a little higher and this dotted line is right there and everything's just shooting up right there from a low level here too so that's nice to see that turn around from down here and if you decide to get speculative in the small cap arena stay away from zombie companies that are highly leveraged and have more long-term debt than their market cap and I still say it's the cyclical, so materials, financials, REITs, those kind of things that will more than likely be the future leaders. So, But you can't count tech out, so always include them a little. But I think overweighting the other sectors is a good idea moving forward. And the KSTs all look the same for all three indexes we're starting off here in the nasdaq so it blasted above zero went above its signal line looking good and the intermediate term kst hooked around to the upside it's got a long way to go to get to zero and its signal line so that's tentative there and the long term kst still has a strong downwards trajectory but this is looking pretty good having these two pointed up long term down though so this could be short lived but why not live when we can and the nasdaq 100 big fat cap mega tech index had its buy signal where the 5 ema went above the 10 ema in red here and it had that on the third so friday had a buy signal there and that's really from the depths of despair here so that's a good sign and again I have the NDX over here in pink and the NDX high low line is in dotted so they're traveling right together straight up so far and that had a nice buy signal right around 0 negative 1.13 KSTs look the same as the NASDAQ composite itself so they're all looking the same. Let's look at the NYSE now. 
And the New York High Low Index, again, these are all daily charts, had a fail. And that happened on 5.1 where the 5 EMA in blue went above the red 10 EMA. So on 5.1 it was a crossover above that at negative 11. And to me this just reaffirms that this will be a short-lived bounce for the NDX, NASDAQ 100, and the NASDAQ Composite itself. And the NASDAQ Composite Weekly High-Low Chart, so the index in the top window for CompQ, the high-low in the middle window where we measure bearish and bullish divergences, and the main event, the new highs and new lows, which did have that crossover underneath its signal line, so it's below there. I don't know, you can do the math. Signal line is at 104.651 and new highs, new low, 103.986. So uh, pretty far below the signal line. But I'll be doing the backstroke and moonwalk if this can turn around and get back above there. As far as the NASDAQ Composite and NDX daily high lows being short-lived, so something to monitor. We could be in for another waffling era here. This was a long time here, 2009 all the way to 2013 before it decided to blast up. Before that it was kind of up and down in this area here, especially 2012, 2013. We need to get above it though. I mean, this was a pretty strong move here. It was already above it, bounced off of it right here off the signal line and off to the races, but big disappointment back then. I don't know what the crisis de jour was, 